Once it's cooled down a bit and doesn't move quite as quickly, I'll get another guy. I'll use Whoa. that torch to keep the top in, uh, which is going to be the top end of the base. Or bowl. Keep that hot. And this is moving a lot more slowly, so I can get another gather now. And the motion is going to be much more of an indicator of heat than the blow. So it's still moving. So as soon as I gather on top of it, this first gather is going to really right? soften, what we call loosen up, become a little thinner, and I'll be able to drop it on the surface of the table, or probably can pick it up and shape it into a base. Oh, wow. Of the table guided on. I've never seen that before. Glass on the end of it. Oh, oh. Cool. And because you let that bubble cool down, it's not just really softening that area that's in contact. And conversely, since you haven't really cooled the bubble, adding that hot pot and getting crack it. Everything's always got to be at the right temperature. I know you're taking my picture. <laughs> just to prove you can do it. Surface at the bottom of the foot loses some of its temperature to the surface of the table, so you have to recuperate that so that the foot that on the bottom of the sides cool. was all kind of moving at the same rate because it's at the same. So he's going to shape this foot, we're going to get it up and around the base. Got a really nice foot here with the taper, a light little crack with the thicker, thinner areas, kind of give it a nice thicker foot. Ready to take this off the height, turn it around, work on the open bit. This process is called the transfer. And that's all the glass is going to hold on. So I'll have to shake it. And the shaking process is going to pull enough heat out of the glass. But it's going to be a little bit more like taffy, a little bit less like honey. It's going to not be so soft. And that'll allow it to oh, stay cool. attached but bear the weight of that ball. So I'll shape it so it's got a little bit of glass hanging off the end and around the sides. Okay. I'll draw some heat out of this. Get a little more churn. Hot glass sticks to the hot surfaces, so wherever he sticks this, even if it's on the side of his face, it's going to grab a hold until the end of the process. He's lining up the two pipes. You know, that is just attached, not melted in. And that way, if he wants to, he can stress that area and pop it off clean. Now he's letting that stress build in. Was he put the jacks, which had water on it, and that cooled that area down very quickly. The water makes all these little micro fractures, so that as he tapped the pipe, those micro fractures ran around the cooled area, but not up into the hot area. All right. So now he wants me to pick up a little bit of colored glass and this 